97.9 The Box. It's the Man Had a Morning Show in here with H Town Zone, Anaya. She is here. J Mac has been trying to get you here for a while, and he is. Fi- what the hell is that? It's a boombox purse. That's cute. That is kind of fly. I it. likes. I likes. The is the only one with this, by the way. All right. Now, J Mac has been trying to get you here for a while, so J Mac, you have finally come through. So we're proud of you because <laughs> you were not Yay. doing your job at first. How long you been Ooh. trying to get her on the show? <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> At least a month or two. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, oh, 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 oh. What, what, what was the holdup, my friend? Uh, you know, management record company. <laughs> 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 What you not gonna do? <laughs> that's the I truth. Know, I that's mean, what we not truth. gonna do. Was that the truth? I mean, I called. I talked to you. <laughs> I talked to the management. They said they had a record. And they got in uh, touch with the PD, so that's the truth. Nah, I this lie. is true. Yeah, oh, I've right. been trying to get, get Mac, it all together. Mac, Mac is a man of I truth. I mean, because I see people in the city, Uh-oh. and when I see people in the city, I try to contact them. Got you it. know, every artist I why, see. Why, why, why was it so important? Because she's you? talented. Uh oh. You know, I and. Know. Based on what? Based off what I've seen on the internet. Mm, and what have you seen on the internet? I've seen remixes. Mm. Now, mean, when you say internet, can you be specific? What part Instagram. of the internet? Instagram. Instagram. Where else? Instagram. Just Instagram. Ooh. Okay. YouTube. YouTube. Facebook. Okay. Facebook. Okay. Okay. Everywhere. And now, you know? what finally brought you to our attention since, you know, you're the facilitator? I mean, just <laughs> seeing it. Mm-hmm. Just seeing it, mm-hmm. you know, and finding out she was from Houston. Mm. Yep. Because you didn't know that at first. All day. I didn't. So why... why can we talk to her now? Okay. I'm, 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 do you want to do no. the interview or let me? <laughs> you want me to interview? Ooh, I can do it. Oh, sassy boy. Oh. Boy, sassy boy. It's a sassy boy summer. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sassy boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sassy boy summer. Go ahead. Really? I'm quiet. I'm oh, quiet. now he heard. Now Come on. She's right oh, here. No. We don't. She don't have all day, Matt. Jazz, Go ahead. You can go. What? Since <laughs> so she knows so much. Oh what my is, God. What's what is the beef right now? No, you started when you were two, right? I did. I've been singing since I was two. Yes. My mama taught me how to sing. So. What were some of the songs y'all were singing back then? Uh, Too Many Memories by Johnny Taylor. Um, Clark Sisters, I love it. Um, my background is actually gospel, so that's where I started. Really? Really, really. Can your mom sing good? Absolutely. My mom is a songstress herself, too, so it's in the family. What does she think about what's been happening for you? She's still trying to register all of it, you know what I mean? Really? She got she my does, back, though. Does she not understand how this... Cause you, I definitely, Obviously, usually, usually you get a record company, they put out music, right. you get hot. Your story is a totally different story. Yep. It's, it's, it's the story of today. Yeah. Social media has turned you into a star. Right. The transition and, was And not tough. something that you anticipated. Right, definitely. It was, it was, I won't say it was unexpected because we've always known that um, I'd be here. Mm-hmm. We just didn't know how and when it would happen. You know what I mean? Because mm. I did so many... Uh, competition shows. I did American Idol. I did The Voice. I did all of that. And then, you know, who knew it would come and all the stuff media. that you did in his Instagram. Yep. Overnight. So not, uh, not you know, overnight, but overnight, yeah. but yeah, like it literally went from 4,300 followers to 100,000 in 48 hours. What was the That's video crazy. or the moment that put you there? Uh, my boot up remake, LMA. Yep. Yeah. On Instagram? Yes. Went wow. viral, like, in 48 hours. And you just woke up the next day? Like, yep. I had, happened. like, 50 missed calls and a ton of text messages. It was crazy. And it was like, oh, my God, you on the internet. And I was like, wait, wait, who, me? So, <laughs> yeah, it was it was kind of shocking the way it happened. Now, once this happens, people start gravitating towards you. Do you feel a certain amount of stress to have to now show and prove more? Or you were just doing what you were doing just... Let me see what else can happen right. with this at this point. What was the mindset when the first one started to really work? Um, I mean, I just really got into gear like, okay, I'm going to just keep them coming. It didn't make me want to like say, oh, I need to step it up a notch because obviously they fell in love with what you I do were. naturally. Yeah, so I didn't want to have to like switch up my style or change or anything mm-hmm. like that. I just started putting it in their face a little bit more. That's all. Before then... How does this get started with you say, oh, I'm just going to put this video up real quick and see what happens? Was that the mindset or were you just being on Instagram kind of just playing? Because we all do stuff on Instagram right. and we don't become Which, stars. I was already doing it, though, because Jingles, I've been huh? working for a jingle company yeah. for the past six years. So um, I kind of was already playing around with it anyway. And then I just moved it over to social media and it took off. OK, what was your hottest jingle that you wrote while you were working for the company? Uh... I cannot 
Can I say it? Yeah, say it. Or okay. you can sing it. Yeah. I did it. I, <laughs> I did a jingle for a um, adult company that sells. Uh, you know, like toys and pill enhancement pills and stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I saw it. Yeah. No, you didn't, J Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So J Mac did the product work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you say, I, I thought that made I got a good joke. Oh, I was not expecting it. <laughs> Look. Dang. Yeah, I was just asking. I guess he ain't so, going to answer. So did, did it work? Did it work? No. No, I didn't use it. Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't use the product. You just was inspired by the product. Yeah, they just want to joke all the time. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> part of the story, bro. No, I'm trying Man, to ask. Sassy boy summer still, still, still in full of thing. Okay, he's, okay Ooh, it's a sensitive morning. Uh, so anyway, you're doing all this. <laughs> it starts to take off. Yes. Now, it, it gets to a point now where you're starting to wake up and people are expecting you to perform something Absolutely. on IG. Yes. And you still are, there's still no pressure there. And do you know what's coming next? Because now there's an expectation. When right. you, if you do this enough, people start calling you. Yeah. Um, not just people, but the record companies mm -hmm. and whomever else. Mm -hmm. So when do you know for sure that, oh, I'm we high there. High. We're, we're, we're there now. I, I'm starting to feel that. Or oh, It's kind of been there for, for a while. But um, my assistant, Camelia, she runs the emails, and my phone is like ding, 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 all day, every day. So it's there, but I can handle it. I ain't scared of nothing. No, it's not a question of being scared, but one day it happens, and mm -hmm. you're in the midst of the storm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you know you're in the midst of the storm, but you don't know you're in the midst of the storm. Right. And there's answers that you know, people expect. There's things that you're going to have to do that you didn't expect to be doing at this yes. particular point. I've definitely felt the pressure of the transition, like right. from being a mommy, going to exactly. Walmart to buy tissue to now I can't even go in Walmart. Exactly. I That's have the to, uh, uh, nah, I, I actually, nah. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. I actually have to order curbside now from stores and, um, that's the part of it that no one ever expects. Right. You want everybody wants the fame and fortune, especially when it happens. You know, in the, yesterday you was able to yeah, you and your man. baby would be able you know yeah. to do what you do, and now today you and baby can't chill the way. Yeah, that you and my chill. son don't. He don't. He ain't with it. See, like when people run up to me and be like, "Oh my God, can I please?" He be like, "Mom, I'm, I'm ready to go." Like he, you know, he's still trying to. Deal so with how it. do you hang with both of y'all? Really, how do you handle that? Because it's it's a it's a no one teaches you how to be a star. Indeed, it's 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 trial and error. Yeah, every day. Yeah, I just sit down and talk to him. My baby is very intelligent. He's a smart little boy. Hi, Austin. Mommy loves you. Um, <laughs> he's really really smart and he understands and he knows that this is entertainment. Mm -hmm. So he knows that we have to separate the two. And I just teach them, you know, hey, these people ain't coming to, like, take your mommy from you. They just, they like what mommy do. So just, you can share me a little bit. And he'd be like, all right, mama, I guess. <laughs> now, what about you? How's it been to handle that as well? Um, because for you, it's other things. It's not just the, the, it's not just the people. Now, there's the management. There's the record company. There's yeah. money. There's More people all involved. these. Yeah. Yeah, it's and the a lot agent, of people. It's the, the demand on your time. We want you. They want you. They want you. They yeah. want you. I'm learning. I mean, I'm, I'm for real. I'm <laughs> well, still learning. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, I'm still learning. I, I like it. I love the love. Mm. And definitely, I'm very, very grateful for uh, being acknowledged strictly from being lyrical. You know, I'm, I'm happy that I don't have to sell sex or anything like that. But um, I have a, a bunch of topics, though, uh, that uh -huh. I mean, yeah. you know, I, I, do, I do what I do, and I talk about what I want to talk about, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Why she look at J Mac and they got this back? Because he always trying to be extra. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so what you say? What are some of those topics that you like to? Oh. Your music is based on. The, oh, you and her got some mm. things well, in common. Let it... But let me tell you, mm. and then I let her go. <laughs> Both of y'all are looking for sugar daddies. I'm not looking. No what? <laughs> oh, you found one? one? I got, that's a that is in the bag. Baby. Where did you find him? Girl, <laughs> at a bar during happy hour. You drink? Steak forty eight. No. <laughs> Can y'all not say names, please? Oh, okay. Sorry. After, 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 later, after, but you yeah. actually found one? Girl. Is this a serious what conversation? Are you, are you what looking, is going on here? looking for him? Let or him I he wasn't just... even looking. He just, you know, the universe. How much older is he? It's just the way it works, huh? How much older is the sugar daddy? We are 25 years apart. That's not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, in sugar daddy lifestyle. Exactly, sis. That's like me. That Wait a minute. Girl. Why would you That's... be looking for a sugar daddy? I wasn't You're... looking. 
He came I to her looking. and now she is blessed with all yes, this. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. He get you whatever you want. I never go back to a young and you understand me? Oh my god. Never. What level of sugar daddy is he at? Because there's, you know, there's manicures, pedicures, and then there's cars, and then you know there's oh he gonna help you start a business, girl. <laughs> that one. He cooks. He cooked oh, too. Girl, oh, girl! Does he have I a can't brother? Eat ever? Everybody be asking leave me that. So they can do <laughs> he do. He got he siblings. He actually has a brother. He got siblings. What? Yeah. But they they not. Mm-mm. I wonder. Can we ask what he does? And he's a he's a retired NFL player. Okay. So yeah, so the bag continues to come he's, in. Well, I'm happy. You think you're gonna marry him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is going on here? Know. We ain't there right there oh yet, but I'm, I will say that I'm very, very satisfied with every wow. part of it. Oh, game. really? Yeah, That's good. Part. She's claiming them. Yeah. Out there, everything. Well, she's claiming other things now. We've hey, gone Zaddy. beyond. We've, <laughs> <laughs> we've gone beyond the money. So, hey, and, Zaddy. Okay. Are oh, y'all, back to the topics. Okay, so what topics do you like to focus your music on? Well, really, obviously, Sugar Daddy is number one. That, yeah. I, Acquired, so now there's new things to, to acquire, mm-hmm. Real-life topics. Mm-hmm. Most of my music is based on real-life events, whether it happens to me, somebody I'm close to, or something I witnessed from somebody that I know. You know oh. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's all true stories. None of it is, is pretend. Mm-hmm. I, it so. And it doesn't sound pretend. It sounds just like they just told you that stuff, and you're just speaking it through the microphone. Right, Yeah. That's my duty. Come on, I, give us some. Come on, come on tonight. Give us some, man. What you want? What you want? Just give us something, yeah, man. Because, I, I mean, I mean all day long, I got these people like, look, this girl is hot, even though you return my email on oh. a month later. But, well, <laughs> Listen, oh, God. I'm still trying this to get... This is a sassy boy. <laughs> <It's> so, ooh, <laughs> I'm man. sick of him already. <laughs> come on, give us some, please. I'm kidding. I'm still trying to... Don't hold that Give us some. Don't get mad if I got... Is, this I ain't is mad. much talent. I don't be in my feelings. Oh, like that my God. On, Wait, I'm bro. sorry. What? I missed that part. Come on, dog. Come no, on. What did you say? You missed the right thing. What did you say? He said he has just as much talent as it sounded like. Y'all want to go bar for bar? No. No. <clears> just might as well. Give us something. Come on. All right. Okay. Um... All the stuff I went through back then don't even matter. Yeah, look at me now, I'm with the hatter. Mm. J-Max said he could freestyle, but I'm better. Mm. Hello, <laughs> and my pocket's getting fatter. Yes. Yeah, and plus I'm from the age, and I do any and everything my way. Yeah. yeah. Hold up, it's mm. Denial Lamise. Anybody competition know they can't beat me. Mm. All right, that's enough. Oh. Oh. That's enough. My favorite part was she took a shot at you, though. But anyway. All right, J-Mac, your turn. <laughs> no. Oh, he's doing it. He's grabbing the mic, really? y'all. Just give him, a, give, him a, give him 20 seconds. Let me My call Austin. <laughs> I'm cute. You don't call your eight-year-old son up? Okay, I'm going to say it for Austin. Please. I'm going to say it for Austin. Let me pick him up from school. Somebody hey, but, get Austin on the phone, please. But you know, there's something. You wanted to be a dancer. Okay, no, wait. Can we clarify I'll, that, please? Not a uh, booty dancer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We need to make sure we with say that. No, before before <laughs> the watching. before the music, I wanted to be. Y'all remember Comic View? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Y'all remember the dancers they used to come out before the show came on? Right. That's what I wanted to do. That was my 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 dream. When Were I you dancing? Like, yeah, I was shaking my shimmy and stuff in front of the TV, trying to mimic what I seen and stuff. <laughs> and I, I love New Orleans. I'm a very big fan of the city. Who that? Zaddy from New Orleans. Hey, Zaddy again. <laughs> but um. <laughs> So, yeah, that was the dream. I wanted to be a comic view dancer. Wow. Yeah, so. But life didn't work out that way. It seems to be working out. It is. Now, I'm grateful. I always like to ask people when things start to happen for them. You, you said earlier that you knew it was going to happen, but you didn't know it was this way. Right. But we know that in this era that we live in, social media can create a star. Yeah. So is there a pressure that what you've done for a minute at a time only can work for a minute at a time on social media. Well, I guess it's longer now, but it works for Instagram. Is there a fear that, okay, how can I make sure that this works now for in song form? No, no, not at all, because I started over there first right. in the studio and with my pen and my pad, you know, and then I brought it to social media. It's not the other way around, so okay. it ain't no pressure. Was there pressure to condense down? Now you got, at that particular time, you had a minute to get your idea across. See, that's the good thing about working for a jingle company. You have to condense it in so little time because you have to sell commercials and and ads Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that actually made me quicker and stronger. So, nah, I mean, it it really wasn't hard. It really was not hard. 
I, it's been a breeze for me, and I'm grateful that I get to make money doing what I love and what I'm good at. Now, you decided to do a deal. Why did you decide to do a deal? Because oftentimes, almost everyone that we talk to out of the H these days, mm. everyone is get, is starting to be shy of the deal. And if they talk money, they're <clears throat> almost everyone <clears throat> yeah. want large amounts of money. Right. Now, you've, you, you've decided to do a deal. Yeah. I'm not going to ask about money or anything, but what made you make that decision? Um, I think contracts scare people with good reason because so many people have gotten messed over. But me particularly, uh, with with my record label, they're catering to me and what I need and, and they're helping me expand what I've already brought to the table anyway. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, shout out to Empire, Guys, Tina. I, they're so good to me. I love my label. Um, they pretty much just boosted what I already kicked off. So it's more of a partnership than me belonging to the label mm-hmm. so I, I we meet each other halfway and it's dope our relationship is really really dope what you're trying to say it's a 50 50 love affair i mean you know <laughs> you got to you got to meet me halfway in this thing i ain't doing nothing all by myself that's for sure are you is it and i and i know you have a single but yes. uh is it for an album is there any i want to work with this person or i want to work with this person or are you going to do Absolutely. everything for yourself as, as, it, as it pertains to this first record, at least. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always worked uh, best alone. Yeah. I've never uh, had to branch out and, and work with anybody else because I, I, you know, I just do best when I'm by myself. But now since being signed and being a part of a label, I've had to uh, work well with, other, with others, mm-hmm. you know. So uh, James Fauntleroy is one of the writers that I am yeah. so Ooh. eager to mm-hmm. get in the lab with. He's one of the greatest right now. His mm-hmm. pen is absolutely insane um i definitely want to work with timbaland missy jamie fox um i got a few people on my list but i, I work cool by myself and with other people what about from yeah. the houston hot girl collection houston hot we got girl a lot collection. of hot girls right now coming you know what houston is doing really really well i just found out that normani is from houston yeah. i did not know that right i didn't even know a lot Lizzo. of people didn't know you were from houston at first yeah a lot of people didn't know. i don't know how though because i stay ripping my city hey. baby I, I stay talking <laughs> about houston for real i'm always each time everywhere i go um i didn't know lizzo was from houston mm-hmm. but we winning right now i would collab with any of them mm-hmm. we all what do you winning. think it is why and particularly it seems that we're winning with women Mm. in this city right now. Mm -hmm. No disrespect to none of the brothers. They had a nice run. (laughs) No, for real, for real. I had a nice run. No, no, no. no. I'm not saying in a disrespectful way. (laughs) Right now, if you count on your hand, though, who is the most successful around the country or world, you just named them. It is women. Yeah. So all the women, I love to ask the question, what do you think is happening now and why, and particularly with women in this city, why it's working so well? And they are an amalgamation of different looks. I, you know I mean? think right now, in my opinion, I think the wave right now is confidence. We are all walking in our own confidence. I know me everywhere I go, I'm chunky, chunky bees winning all day. I'm, you know, I'm proud of my <laughs> my voluptuousness. Is that a word, Ro? If it okay, we'll take it. Cool. We're gonna make that work. Yeah. Um, Megan, she's straightforward. She gonna tell you what it is. Then you got Lizzo. She chunky out here like, yeah, her name on Instagram is Lizzo Be Eating. Mm-hmm. I mean, come <laughs> on. Like, she's she's happy. Normani's yeah. killing it. Her new single is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's confidence. Mm. You gotta have that because, mm. I mean, what are you gonna be without it? Because Lamise is very confident, boom. Come on. <laughs> very. <laughs> What J Mac? I don't know what these two. Got. What J Mac? <laughs> what J Mac? <laughs> she. What? He wants what? to though. He wants to. No. What? Come okay. on, just say it. <laughs> Nothing. Jazz. Okay. What's okay. wrong? <laughs> Tell us about the the new song and how that came about. Sugar Zaddy. Mm. <laughs> okay, so first of all, it's the true story. <laughs> Nah, but um, like I said, I write about true events in my life. And when something impacts my life deeply, I always write it down and make a song out of it. So this man changed my life. And I'm in love and stuff. <laughs> what? She dropped the L word on us. So, You're in love with a sugar daddy? What? It don't matter, you know. Oh, God. Sugar daddy, regular Please daddy. Stop he stop like, inspiring he a daddy her. or he a zaddy, it's called good. Right. The one with the Z. The one with the Z. I like yeah, definitely, you know. Yeah, he take care of me. So <laughs> all of the things that I've been through and, you know, dealing with with him inspired that record. So I had to, I had to tell the world this. <laughs> I had to tell my story. 
They gotta know. <laughs> Has there ever been any stories that you told in a song or something that you had a hard time putting out, but you just decided to let it all go? Um, yeah, absolutely. What was that? Uh, my single fairy tale. That was a hard story to tell for me. Um, that was a heartbreak story. And it um, it impacted me in such a negative way, in such a heart- heartbreaking way that I just had to get it all out. I literally was in the studio crying when I recorded that that wow. record. Wow. Yeah. And wow. Don't act like you don't know. You know that story. What is the story for those that don't know? <laughs> Let them know. Everybody Let know them know. Mm-hmm. Huh? Let them know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Since we since we talking about it, give us yeah. some of it. Uh, it was actually a story y'all broke two years ago. It was a. Um, we did. Mm-hmm. We did. Mm-hmm. It was a little situation I was involved with. Uh, and we talked about it on the show? Absolutely. Am I, get, am I, am I getting ready to feel guilty about something here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all talked about it a few a few years ago. It was a, uh, I was involved with a certain someone who was a pastor. Okay. And it, was some, it was some stuff going on with that. That's Are you hurt? serious? Yeah. Give me some of the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Of the song. No, yeah. but do you remember the situation? So I now, think, now I, they're watching and they're going to want, they, they they want to understand. No. Oh, that's fine. We can talk about it. <clears throat> like the hit, here it go. Yeah. Let it go. Let it go. Wow. So, no, yeah, there was a, I was involved with this this guy <laughs> and he was a pastor and he, it ended up being that he was involved with multiple women. I do remember that. I know you do. Because people was calling oh, in from the church. She's like, boo, you know, you yeah. know. I heard was, you talking yeah. about it. <laughs> he was involved with multiple women and I was, um. You know, I was the victim in all of that. I was the person who didn't get to speak. I was the one who didn't get to say anything. I was the, you know, whatever picture was painted by the other two young ladies that were involved. You know, I was that. And luckily, my face wasn't a part of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I never got to tell my side. And then I was doing so much for him and being on his side and making sure I held him down. And he was telling me not to speak. And I'm signing gag orders and blah, blah, blah. And all this other, you know. And I was smothered in that secret. So fairy tale released all of that. Ooh. Wait a minute. During that time, didn't we have people from the church calling in mm-hmm. and people? I'm Did you call so me? sorry no, to you have don't been have a participant. To apologize. It <laughs> Did you? Okay. Because you know something. Because you know what? Sometimes you're doing things and you're doing it. I did not. And you're. I did not. And you. It's not that you forget it's somebody's life. But you're so fascinated by what's happening. You're like, this cannot be real. And then yeah, you start oh, talking about it, and, and people believe. start calling. Believe I was like, just as shocked as as y'all were. As the oh. as the story was breaking On in the, the world, radio. it was breaking in my <laughs> wow. life. Since, wow. so I, since I haven't listened to Fairy Tale, and I'm gonna listen to it after this interview. But <laughs> how did you get hooked up like that? How do you fall in love with a pastor like that has a wife or I mean? He I was, don't know. And not, and let's not realize be clear, that they could though, be doing other things. Or, or, let's be clear. He was oh, not married. Oh, he was not married. he and I okay. were involved. Okay. He was not, definitely not married. Uh-huh. He was involved with other women, mm-hmm. but he wasn't married. Right. But, um, you know. What just, made you think he was the good guy for you then? He he wooed the hell out of me. Oh, I'm sorry. oh so he was good with. No, no talk your talk. Um, yeah, he was very charming. And um, he was just everything that. You know, a woman would ideally have on her checklist for a man. Mm-hmm. You know, we got a checklist. Oh, yeah. He he was that. And especially the fact that he loved God, that just took it over the top for me. Okay. So, so. has that changed your faith since? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely well, not. Because a lot anything, of people go through that type of thing and then it changed them no, forever. No, no, no. See, I, I didn't depend on him for any type of uh, relationship that I have with God. I already know and love him and have a relationship with him on my own. So I didn't even combine the two. I actually looked at his uh, preaching as, you know, that's that's his job. I didn't even take that with our relationship. So he didn't try to finesse you with a God card? No, actually he didn't. We separated that. I knew that that was that. He loved God. He was a preacher. And, you know, that right there alone won me over like okay you love god boom we good on it so then we started to explore each other in other ways Mm -hmm. i didn't want our relationship to be all holier than thou type joint we was we were normal people but he had secrets the entire time and you found out when everybody else found out absolutely as a matter of fact he called me the morning of how deep can i go bro go (laughs) roll let her go let her roll roll. i just need my manager i just need a head nod (laughs) okay I write, oh, oh, I'll, I'll okay, tell you cool. Who to stop. No, yeah. So as a matter of fact, the morning of, uh, he called me mm-hmm. and was like, you know, I, I just need to talk to you, crying out, all, all this stuff. 
I just need to tell you, you know, she she found the the the, the tape. Is that and how I, we started talking about it? Because it was a tape. Yes, it was. A, it was a tape of a preacher. Yeah, absolutely. It was a tape of a preacher. I don't know if we saw it on the news or somebody called us. Or... Isaiah Carey. Uh, Carey. Isaiah Carey. Mm. Uh huh. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. I do. And we just started talking about it, and people started calling us, telling us the dirt of the church. Yes, and it was the talk of the town for like a week. <laughs> Y'all was on that story for a long time, <laughs> and I had to listen to it. I had to be quiet. So that's why you don't like us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was something, yeah. but listen. you know it's good because no. we're healing. I knew it was we're not something. finna say no. You're it's not just right, gonna pass heal. that up. Hey, no, can, let can me we get go. a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> It's too easy. I understand. I understand. <laughs> it took me a while. Now I understand. What I understand. It's all right. It's a I have always it, it, it's, loved it's all right. and supported. It's a right. <laughs> Your attitude changed. I love y'all. 97.9. It's cool. My dog. Like holding her hand. It's all right. Her squeezed in. It, 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 this it, is you, right. Jay Max. She hate us. No, the you show. And I understand. Out. It took me a while. I understand no, it now. We sorry for that. Okay. So and now that he's done with that, that's definitely not it. Right now. I remember this though. Definitely I know. not. It, it was like a two day, three yeah, day affair. Like the story stopped. Okay. Look, look, see? She knows the back days. It. I don't remember what it was for, but the story kept developing. And I was just in shock. It was, people are not, we don't see preachers as human. I was talking to a pastor That's about this the other problem. day. What happens is we put them on almost Pedestals. a God. We, no, we, we almost equate them. I'm not going to say we. Most people equate them almost to God. Yeah, like they came and they're not, And they're not human beings. Right. And when you hear these kind of stories of a fall from grace, you're like, he did what? It's shocking. He had a tape. Yeah. He went, what? How many? Right. This is not real. And then what happens, all those people want to talk because mm -hmm. they're trying to heal and annihilate at the same time too no so pun intended so <laughs> so they're all rah, rah, yeah 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 because they're in disbelief and they go there every sunday or however many days a week they go and yeah. so now they feel used exposed yep. taken advantage of yeah absolutely okay, things that obviously you felt firsthand yeah no it's the, okay the i'm in a space where i can way. talk about it freely now wow i'm, I'm is, no longer suffering from that situation what a full circle how yeah. did you get there into that space how did you like get over all of it um you know Music is my outlet. Mm -hmm. It's my um, it's my deep breath, and I have to have that. If I if I did not have the ability to write about the things I go through, I probably would have like flew to Coop a long time ago. Yeah. But um, I just got in the studio, and I remember turning off all the lights and literally just getting in a booth and recording exactly how I felt that day in that moment, and that's how Fairy Tale was born. Yeah. So are those wounds still there on the inside, or? you're able to 100% heal or is it in there enough still where you're cautious, you're aware, the pain is not what it once was, but there's still like, you know, there's a wound that you can obviously see. I mean, you know, obviously when you get burnt, it ain't gonna hurt forever, but you're still you gonna have the mark. You, you know what I mean? It. Yeah. It's it's still there, but I'm no longer suffering from it. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, it became a stepping stone for me to be great and be better and I just, I just, I hope, where the camera at? <laughs> Look I right hope, in there. I hope you watching, and I hope you see me now. Because I just want to say thank you for all of your F-ups. Sincerely. Mm. That should be the name of the album. <laughs> Sincerely. Nah, that, that, that took a credit. toll on me right there. So really? I just, yeah, so I... <laughs> I wrote about it and I, I released it, it and yeah. So. How your mama deal with it and your family deal with it? My mama, listen, my family had my back. We was ready to ride on something. <laughs> we was ready to ride on something. Everybody was suited and booted. So this is the north side of H Town. That's where you from? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jay Mallow know the from, address. I'm from the east side. I'm from Clint Park, Texas. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm from Clint Park. I um uh, I grew up there, but. Nah, my family had my back. Everybody was ready to ride on, buddy. Well, uh, now, my apologies. You don't have to apologize. Well, I'm apologize because you know what? Uh, some, you know what? Oftentimes you sit, and this is all of us. We all, even if somebody's just talking about J-Mac, sometimes what happens is you forget that people are human beings. Yeah. And you're talking about lies. Even if it's somebody talking about you, saying, mm -hmm. oh, because there's somebody that doesn't like you or hate you, or they'll go to your social page and like, girl, you ain't all that. They forget that you're a human being and yeah. you have emotions and Absolutely. feelings. Absolutely. And they'll just sit there and do Eddie Murphy called doing the drive-by. That's why he's not on something. You just go by. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do
and they leave you with these hoes. And oftentimes we we concentrate on the negative so much yep. we forget about all the people that love us. Yeah. Because we just you know the people that love you assume that you know that you love, so they don't even tell you. But yeah. the people who hate you, they can't wait to sit there and ride against yeah, you. Yeah, indeed. And then sometimes when we do what we do, you forget that, hey, that affects somebody's life because we just sitting here like popcorn and tea, like, wow, this is crazy. This well, is I mean, I, I don't blame them, though, because negativity is in, it's entertaining. It's, it's entertaining. Your you know? life, nobody, entertainment. Exactly. Nobody wants to spread positivity and show when, if anything, a, a murder is going to make the news before a, a black person owning a business or opening a business would. You know what I mean? Mm. There's always going to be a tension when there's negativity. So I, I wasn't mad at the world. I was just mad at the situation his ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No I was doubt. just mad at him. No doubt. Wow. This has been very eye-opening. Yeah. It's cool. Because Lamise's on, baby. <laughs> hey. Lamise's on, baby. I ain't mad no more. I was, but well, look at you. I'm over that. Yeah. As they say, look at you now. And I just want to add that my edges were slick on that tape. Laid. Laid. <laughs> my hair was freshly done, and I was cute. I had a fresh full set, too. <laughs> so how fast did you get a new church? I'm just curious. <laughs> God, this is stupid. <laughs> this stuff I just be wanting to know. Okay, like, all right, dumb. all right. <laughs> I, I never, dumb. I didn't even go to his church. Oh, you didn't? No, because I didn't even want to connect. Like I said, we kept mm -hmm. our, we kept those two things completely, totally separate. Mm -hmm. And, you know, turns out that the fiance was at the church. So she was the assistant the entire time. Wow. So, yeah, silly me. Hmm. Yeah, I never went to his church. Okay. Can we let that go, Matt? Can I'm just through. I don't got any more questions. I go listen about, to Fairy Tale. I ain't heard about it because when that story come out, yeah, there's a whole visual video, all of that. I'm gonna make sure that I tell that story. Mm. Speaking that of visual. visual videos and stuff, what can we expect from you in the next year? Can you <laughs> some videos? Some more yeah, yeah, we actually about Transition. to drop. <laughs> we actually about to get ready to drop uh, Sugar Daddy. Right. Okay. Uh, Nas is already out, um, and then Fairy Tale has. It's actually gonna be a short film, so that's coming as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm excited for all of that. So you acting too? I, you know what, people people tell me I can act, but I don't even be trying to act. This is just my normal, like, this is just me. <laughs> like, I don't be trying to, I don't be, I don't try to do all that. This is just, this is an Ayala Mies. This is, this is me, my real life. So in the next year, I could see you on TV is what you're saying. Got you. Mm -hmm. And the album as well. Shout out to Lena Waithe, by the way. Hey, yes, <laughs> the album, um, that's this year in the fall. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. It's no longer an EP because I keep adding Records, um. yes, because now that I'm in the industry, I'm meeting all these these relevant people who've produced Grammy records, and you know, so I keep adding more and more music. But did, did you do the song with Big Freedom? You do the song with Big Freedom? Not yet. Ooh. It's coming. I love. Hey sis, <laughs> <laughs> hi Frida. I love. Did Frida. Lena work with you on the on the short film? So yeah, let's just wait on that. <laughs> 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 Jazz got a jazz got a got a, got a, got a, got a juice. yeah got, got a little juice that. right there. Jazz, nice move, Jazz. Don't wait on me. Well, good luck to you. Thank you so uh, this, much. This is exciting. Like I said, it's cool to see somebody, particularly from here, yep. and whose career, after all the things you've done, something organically done is what takes you to where you're going. Absolutely. That's that's very exciting to see. Yeah. So good luck on everything. And introduce Thank the you. song so we can get into it. Absolutely. So this is my new single, Sugar Zaddy, and it's based on a true story. Hey, Zaddy, love you. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Social media. Just oh, oh, Cooper wants you to give all your, so so people can follow you, know what you're doing, just in case they don't. We're assuming that everybody did already because yes. that's how you got here. Yes. But for those that are like, hey, I want to mm -hmm. see what she's doing and how what I'm missing out on. Absolutely. So I'm um, in Lamise on all social media. It's uh, I-N-A-Y-A-H underscore L-A-M-I-S. And if it don't got a blue check, it ain't me. Mm. <laughs> Verified. Anaya. All right. Lamy. All right. You call your fans annihilators? Yes. I knew it. I do. Annihilators. And they love me. Yeah, they do. And I love them. Y'all, they be freaking out. Like when I go to stores and, and I just be in there for like, I ran out of tissue at the house the other day. And I tried to go in Walmart and grab some more tissue. And it was some uh, middle school girls in there like just freaking out. They was like, oh my God. Crying, I got a whole pink light bill at the house. Crying for it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Cash out, crying for it. Can you, can you let me hold some <laughs> since you oh love me so much. Oh my god, I got a whole <laughs> nah, pink they, light bill. They be tripping. They be tripping when they see me. I'm still trying to get used to that, y'all. I'm 
it's mind blowing. I went to LA and I didn't even know I had fans. I didn't even know they knew me out there. I went to LA and they was like, can we get you to come to this? There's so many brunches <laughs> in LA, by the way. Br- there's too many brunches. What? No, I, 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 I jazz like you to can eat, never have so. too many brunches. No, there was, there was eat and drink and it's daylight. There was way too many brunch. I don't understand the whole brunch thing. For BT, BT, uh, MTV, uh, TTV, we TV. <laughs> it was just, it was. I was at so many brunches. Like they kept inviting me to stuff, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'm full. <laughs> Thanks. I don't, I don't want any more mimosas. Like I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> I didn't even know that I was that popular in L.A. They was, like, pulling me every which way. And I'm like, I got to get back to Texas because this is too fast for me. I'm slow boogie. Mm-hmm. Are you going to move? Are you going to stay here? I, I think I'm going to stay in Texas. What does Sugar Daddy here. say? Zaddy is But he also here. got enough money y'all can move. Yeah, Zaddy here. Zaddy is here. You can't leave him. But he'll move. He'll move for me. Yeah. Your son. <laughs> <laughs> he will move here. He your son like him? My son adores that man. Aww. Is that important that your yes, son likes Yes, absolutely. Yeah. No, her he... son going to hate him. Well, yeah. You... We can't even be if we ain't, right. if he don't. Yeah, There's some ain't... people that compromise all the time. Uh, compromise all the time. You're you know? right, because I did at one point in time. <laughs> so, don't the try obvious to say, is hey, not hey, always hey, obvious. Hey. No, that's true, though. Watch I yourself. compromise Have you ever dated anybody your son didn't like? The pastor. Right. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Shut up. Now you think he made a point. He I didn't make no I'm smart. Oh, this guy. That was a good observation there, though. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, now they back on again. <laughs> <laughs> they started a part, but now they <laughs> back on <laughs> again. <laughs> oh, dog. Hey, nah, that's what we were trying not to happen. Is, 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 has there been some big celebrity that you were like, they don't know, they know you, like Beyonce or somebody? Uh, again, when I went to the brunch, one one of the brunches in L.A., I walked in and you got, you got Money Man, you got T.I., you got Ooh. Jim Jones, you got uh, uh, Mozzie, you had Iggy Azalea. There was, everybody in there was dying to get to me. Oh, like, they was like, can you tell Anaya to come in? I'm like, you are me. H-Town, baby. <laughs> you are me. H-Town. And then I met T.I., he was like, I'm with with the greatest. I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> like, I, I loved it, y'all. It was everybody that was wanting me were all celebrities already. And I'm like, y'all really like my little country? Y'all like like me like that? You it was dope. You it you was dope. Hot. The vibes was really dope. Yes. But I can't move to L.A. It's way too fast for me. 